I need some coffee. Can I get some coffee? Like, I, I really need some coffee right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ash, and welcome back to my Chronicles. I know. I look like ultimate trash today. I honestly don't care. And also, this is a rare sighting. I'm actually wearing my glasses in a video. Like, this is mind-blowing, astonishing, never-before-seen footage. Like, th like, this is... This is a big deal. The reason I'm wearing glasses is because it's school day and plus I wear glasses like 90% of the time because I'm just constantly looking at blue lights and these glasses help protect against that. So I'm going to show you guys what goes on during a normal day of school, class, university, college. You know what I mean. Since everything is online and at home, this is what goes on. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Disclaimer, I do apologize if you hear background noise. I am currently filming this on Memorial Day and so it's probably going to be noisy because my neighborhood tends to get noisy especially on holidays. So if you hear dogs barking, people laughing or talking, loud music, bass, and that's pretty much all I can say. I do apologize in advance. You guys enjoy this video and enjoy my pain. So first things first, let's see if my World history teacher posted anything. He probably did because he sent us the schedule when we started back up. Let's see what he posted. And we have quite some work to do. Let me get started on that. So he wants us to do a KWL. If you guys aren't familiar with a KWL, it's basically what you already know, what you want to know, and what you learn. He wants us to read this section. I will check back with you guys when I'm done. One hour later. So we are back. Uh, so this assignment is complete and ready to turn in on Wednesday. Okay, that's one assignment. So second assignment says primary sources on two different maps in the book. Mm. Binder book. Uh, let's get started on that. For this assignment, we need to look at the questions on this map and also this map and answer them. They're not all going to be on this map. It's going to be a mixture of the map and the reading. Let me get started on that because this is going to take a while. The first question is... How many separate African resistance movements can you count on this map? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, I think. Twenty-two. Next question is where was resistance the most prolonged? You know, there's there's resistance all over this map, so, you know, it, it, it could be, ooh, it could be anywhere. <laughs> it could be anywhere. Um, what is this region? Sometimes you just gotta guess it out. You, you just gotta guess it out and hope for the best. No, don't do that. <laughs> no, seriously, please do not do that. I beg you, please do not do that. Okay, I hate to interrupt this whole uh, homework study session, but... My packages, this came from Amazon. I've been slowly ordering new stuff since I've lost a lot of weight and it's time to get new clothes. And I got the tights that I wanted. So I got these tights. These look like the ones that I saw on Hot Topic, but of course sold out. 
and I saw them on Amazon for only $7 and I'm like that's a steal because on Hot Topic it was like $12.99 and then second are these two fishnet uh, tights one has bigger fishnets than the other you can tell that this one has bigger fishnets than this one I've been really into the whole like fishnet leggings trend and since I'm going to start being able to wear whatever the hell I want, I decided to get some fishnet leggings because I wanted to, hopefully I have like, I have like so many outfits planned with them and I just can't wait until I get all the stuff that I want. But yeah, I thought it would be cool to share that with you guys since that came. Anyways, let's go back to answering these questions. Okay, final question for this map. According to your reading, there we go. Didn't I tell you that it was going to be a mixture of the map and the reading? Anyways, according to your reading, why were you, oh my gosh, Ethiopians who sustained their autotomy, ugh, I can't even talk today, able to do what other African opponents of European armies were not? Okay, let me read about this. I think I remember a few things. Okay, so we are done with map 18.2. Let's do 18.3 and then I'll be done with this. And then I can do something different. I'll probably study for my geology since I don't have uh, homework for women in literature today. We're talking about the foreign spears of influence in China. I am very interested in Chinese history, so I'm kind of excited about this one. If for my computer, thank you for doing your job today. I really appreciate it. Now that we are done with that, it's time to move on to geology. I have a exam in there tomorrow, so of course, even though it's a holiday, gotta study for it. Rock exam on metamorphic, igneous, and sedimentary rocks that I don't even know by heart. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is going to be fun. So here's what I'm going to do. To get these rock types stuck in my head, I am just going to just continuously write them down until they click. Like, okay, basalt is this. Gabbro is this type of rock. You know, like that. And by the way, basalt and gabbro are both igneous rocks. Right, right, right? Let me look at it. Yep, igneous rocks. I'm gonna go do that, and I guess you guys can watch. I I, I don't know. I don't know how this how this whole thing works. One round down, many more to go. <laughs> okay, so it's been an hour and I'm taking a break and I'm ending this video here because after I eat lunch and all that, I'm probably just gonna study for a little bit longer and take a long nap because that's how I'm feeling. I'm just exhausted. I'm tired. It's the end of semester. I'm overwhelmed with this whole pandemic. I'm just over here working my butt off and I can't wait until the semester ends. I'm exhausted guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do apologize if it wasn't the most entertaining video. This is the first time that I've done a, I guess, day in the light video or whatever you call it study with me 
whatever it's called <laughs> this is the first time that i'm doing it i hope i did a good job with this video if i did give it a like comment tell me i can do better and if you're new here of course join by subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you know every time that i post a new video until next week always remember to stay bright stay awesome and see you for my bouquets Bye!